Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the 89 Garage. Today's episode is really going to blow. So today's episode we are going to, going to be testing an E-Fan. This fan can be found on a 93 through 97 T-Bird or Mercury Cougar. These are also used on the Mark 8. I just pulled the fan blade off of a Mark 8 that had this same motor on it. Most Mark 8s have a one speed, let me take that back, they have a variable speed motor on them. But I have seen several of them with the two speed motor and anyway, just know it's basically the same fan, just the motor is different. What we're going to do is we're going to measure the CFM of this baby on low and high. And I also want to check the load that it takes to get this fan rolling and what it pulls while it's running. I'm going to show you my setup here. It, it is really, really hot. It's like 103 right now, so I'm trying to hurry. This is my setup. I got this thing off of the Amazon. I'll put a link below. Uh, the air needs to come this way. Uh, I'm not project farm, but I got this thing set up so it has a good amount of air, straight shot of air to come through it rather than just like uh, leaning it up against the garage or something there. I already had these uh, brackets put on there from uh, having this mocked up to fit a fox body. That's also why these holes are here, but this is going to be going in my F-150 and that is the whole reason for this episode. Uh, we got us a battery right here, and I'm going to dual camera this. Uh, where did it go? I got my Klein meter here to show us the amps we're pulling. And then this here, I don't even know how to say that, anemometer. We got that, and that's going to show us the CFM. So... Anyway, I'm going to get you guys set up on both cameras so you can watch that thing <laughs> and this as well. This needs to be on a negative. DC, I'm going to tell this to tell us what the max is so we can hit the max and then we'll do that first. We'll do uh, so it gives us the max number that it hits and then we'll go back and see what it runs at just... Uh, while it's running. Oh yeah, I also wanted to have this tell me the max also. I think we're good to go. I'm gonna start with it on low and then uh, we'll go from there. It's 32.5 amps and 1380-ish. Is that what the 1379 on the CFM? That's on low. See how much this pulls from a dead stop on high. All right, so uh, 1871. I was actually expecting that to be a little bit higher than that. Look at that uh, temperature, by the way. That is the temperature that it's measuring outside right now of 102. It pulled 69 amps from a dead stop. Okay, this is low speed, what it pulls while it's running. All right, I'm gonna admit that's a little bit lower than I was expecting for CFM. I was expecting at least 2,000. I think it'll hit 2,000 easily on a car with the alternator running. This is straight from a battery that's actually been used for a couple other things already. So anyway, thank you guys again for watching. Yeah, stay cool.